Hi, it's Michelle Lundeen, and I have the privilege of spending some time and having lunch with Jerry Carlson down at the end. Um, I have Roger Carlson in the middle and then Dan Anderson. Jerry, why don't you tell us a little bit about you and just being in Cambridge and how long and what you've been up to? Okay, well, I came to Cambridge in 1968 and uh, was a teacher at the high school and I taught until 1992 and then I became the athletic director so I was in the administrative end at that time and I lived in I lived in the same house that Michelle just sold yep for 55 years in the same place it's a long time to, but it, it's uh, amazing it didn't seem to affect the sale of it any it was no it went well and, uh, so it's been uh, and I now since moving in here I, I thought I would be one of the older people but I'm finding out that Here's two guys sitting next to me that are 93. They're exactly 10 years older than me. So. I love it. And I met Jerry when I was in high school, and he was the athletic director, and I would come down and say hi to him. Every morning. Every, yep, almost every, every morning. morning. I used to look forward to it. Yep. Yeah. I love it. Got, got the day started. Right? Yep. Uh, so then I was able to reconnect with Jerry and with his daughter, Nikki, and she um, was just, she's so much fun to hang out with too and just spend time with as we were selling his house. And we just closed on it, like you said. And what what else, anything else you want to talk about? As Well, I think uh, I, it was a, a trying experience for me, but Michelle oh. sort of made it a lot better. Because, it's hard, yeah. Because she was, you know, when you're there in the same place for, for that many years, well, yeah. Yeah, a lot of memories and stuff that come up from you. Yeah. It's had drive true. Sales, three, Three weekends in a row, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yes. That's how we uh, sold our stuff out. And I was a collector, and my late wife was a collector. So mm, we had a lot of stuff. Lots of stuff. Oh. All right. Well, and then we have Roger Carlson. And Roger's house I sold a few years ago, so he probably doesn't remember that too much. But, Roger, tell us a little bit just about you and the photography business and, and just being in Cambridge. We'd love to know a little more. I actually was born and raised right in the Cambridge area, and uh, then I got into uh, photography, mm. and I got the Carlson Photography Studio, yep. and did uh, photography all my life. I always was my own boss, and I always did uh, photography. And you did really good senior photos. That's where I had my senior photos done, oh. and yeah, they were just so, the, the studio was such a just a hallmark area of downtown Main Street. Yeah, like yeah. everyone knew Carlson Photography and your studio and just you guys always had such well, beautiful was, uh, photos. It was Carlson Photography in the last years, although it was first the Dean Studio. Oh, so, I didn't know that. Most, most people probably would the old timers would remember the Dean Studio. Oh. And then I took it over and we ran it under the name for uh, four or five years. Wow, we, I didn't know that. We to keep the name going. And, and then we uh, named it Carlson Photography and kept going in, in uh, all sorts of photography. We were many, many, many weddings. Mm. We did as many as nine weddings in one weekend. Wow. And uh, just a uh, rat race. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because these gentlemen are just pillars of our community. When we were having lunch, these two were talking about how they feel like they're almost like twins because they're the same age. Both of their fathers were rural mail carriers. So tell us a little bit about you, Dan. Well, uh, I was a local telephone man okay. for, for, uh, for years. Uh, that was my identity. Yep. Uh, and, and I enjoyed it. It was a good company to work for. It was fun work in a building like this. I installed an internal telephone telephone system that oh, they always have in large buildings. Yeah, and the thing. I, I didn't maintain those. Yeah. Would you mainly do that around the Cambridge I C N E area, or go down I, to the cities? The, pretty much in the pretty much in the mid the central eastern central part of, okay. of the state here. Huh. Yeah. Um, and a couple of things about Dan is I sold his house on Kenwood Street just earlier this year, and your son was really instrumental in that as well, Tim. Yeah. So that was really nice to get to know him. Uh, and, and I couldn't have done it without him. Yes, I agree. Yep. Well, and these guys, I mean, I just think about where I might be in my 80s and 90s, and I hope that I am as sharp as you guys because 
that just doesn't happen very often. So you guys are very fortunate. I'm very lucky. My, you my, are. My, my old doctor, I asked my old doctor how you would get to, uh, and Hank Rouse that was his name, and he said, you have to carefully select your grandparents. And you get the right genes. <laughs> <Yeah. in. laughs> I remember you telling me that. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, you have to select the right grandparents, which we don't get to do. So, yes, we're very, you're very fortunate, each one of you. Um, well, and have you enjoyed being in our community in the Cambridge area? Have you, been, have you enjoyed being in the Cambridge Isani area? Oh, yes. And I have lived in the Cambridge area all my life. All your life. So yeah. It's, uh, it's been a, a, ma a matter of uh, fitting in and getting into a business. Very good for me. Yes. When you can hear a little noise in the background, because we are over at Lavande Walker Methodist, which is a senior community. I was telling these gentlemen that I would love to live in a community like this because you get to have lunch with your friends or dinner. You have people preparing your meals for you. What are some other benefits that you guys have found living at Walker? Good food. Good, good food. food. And, and, and particularly the friendliness of the staff. Yes. They're just they're just sweethearts. Mm -hmm. I like yeah, that. I can't, I can't think of a bad one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. How about in the couple of months you've been here, Jer? One thing I'm really amazed with is the how nice everyone is, but all the uh, particularly the department heads and so on, they know your name immediately. Oh. And I, I'm still struggling with the view because I haven't yeah. had yeah. too much dealings with them. Yeah. I love but, that. Uh, and I, and the, in the kitchen, the same thing, the workers in the red in that dining room, yeah. are, come out, they call you by your first name immediately when you get out. Yeah. Yeah. I love you that. Feel that yes. Yeah. Are any of you utilizing the exercise room, the weight room? Yes. You are? I think uh, you're, you're also. I, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm in an injury situation right now, so I'm kind of going. An athletic injury? <laughs> 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 well, so that is open to the public, I believe. They do. Yeah, yeah. Right. which that's amazing. Yeah. So the exercise facility is open to the public, and the dining hall is open to the public. Yes, yeah. um, I think they have brunch here on Sundays, um, right? They have a very good brunch. You very good brunch. I know. I should show. I I think I will need to for sure. Yeah, that, that is yeah. a good brunch. Oh. Yeah. So you guys, these three gentlemen, they hang out here at Walker Lavande, and people can come and eat. Um, what a great spot. This community is um, just a blessing to so many of us in Isani County. And you guys are just a blessing to me. So thanks for having lunch with me today. Thanks for just connecting it. with us. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you.